Folks, how's it going? I'm Sonny, and I'm back with another episode. I'm doing a bit of decorating at the moment, as you can probably tell. Got some new lights, I finally hung up those posters. I'm thinking of getting some more lighting and maybe some more decorative pieces, just to, you know, get some more interesting shots. I'm just trying to up the ante on video quality, on audio quality, which is my area of expertise, just so I can get you guys some more dope content. But it's a slow process and it's a lot of money. So follow me on the socials if you want to be kept up to date. Links are in the description below. Anyhow, today's video we'll be looking at the Artiphone Instrument 1. It comes in white, black, and there's even a Nashville edition. It's a really unique string-based multi-instrument MIDI controller, meaning this one instrument allows you to be the whole band and play instruments like the guitar, the violin, the piano, or even the drum pad. You have the option to strum like a guitar, bow like a violin, or set it down to tap like a piano or pad. There's even a cool feature called iBow, where if you're playing like a violin, you can use your iPhone as a bow to play. Now, I've never seen something quite like this before with this digital string-like interface. The entire interface is continuously pressure sensitive that can track velocity and allows for polyphonic aftertouch. Basically, you have a lot of control over software instruments in a live performance or in a recording. You can even adjust keys or octaves using the capo buttons, change your playing style from guitar to piano to drums, and change the sounds all on the fly. And because it's a MIDI controller, there are endless sounds that you can create with it. It's really simplistic, it's portable, it's ergonomic, and it's got a 2000 milliamp hour rechargeable battery. You'll be getting around 4-6 to six hours of playtime plugging this straight into your mobile device via the app or into your computer running any software like Pro Tools or Logic paired with the Artiful Instrument 1 editor that is currently in beta. Speaking of which, the free app, which is currently only available on computer or Apple mobile devices, allows you to customize and change settings for how you want to play the instrument one. For instance, you can turn the frets off and on for fretless playability, or even assign different instruments to different strings. You can even set four custom presets and have easy access via the mode knob. Now the instrument one does have speakers on each end, and they're surprisingly pretty decent. They can get pretty loud, and when they're cranked up all the way, they're around 79 decibels a wing, which is a fairly safe listening level. But I found that this is meant to be different from your device, so you have to use the app or software or any input device in order to use this. But you can use it to play with your friends or as external speakers. Just don't expect too much bass coming from them. But what you can expect to see is a 12 volt charger with different outlet adapters depending on where you live. You're also given a mini USB cable to Lightning or to USB-A for commuters. Honestly, this is a really in-depth mini controller. It's going to take some time getting used to it, but there is certainly a lot of potential with this. If you're a guitarist and you don't know how to play piano, but you need to do MIDI sequencing, this is as good as it's going to get. The instrument one is responsive and performs amazing. If you're new to music or even at an advanced level, you can customize the instrument one to behave in ways to suit your playing styles and needs. Anyhow, that's it for me. I hope you enjoyed this short video as I progress to get better at making videos. So leave a like, comment, and subscribe because that's the word. I'll see you in the next video. Peace.